Hey everybody, we are back with another review. Today, we're going to be checking out a little experiment that I've been working on for six months. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's see what we've been working on here for six months. So six months ago, I got the bright idea that, um, you know, I bought a case of Stinkors, of course. So we got the case, but uh, I also wanted to see how besides like actually infusing the vinyl with the oil is there another way so i said i'm gonna try something so i got a throwaway container there he's sitting pretty good in there he's only he's kind of he, i'll show you i'll take the lid off he's kind of sitting on there still um i got the patchouli oil which is what they used to scent him and then um i kind of just sat him in here hoping that maybe the vinyl would instead of mixing it when it's molten, maybe it'll absorb it, um, even if it's in its, you know, solid state. So we'll see, I mean, let's see what's, we'll see what's going on here. So that is the color of what the patchouli oil look like. So it doesn't really look like a lot of it, well, that's real strong, uh, evaporated, but he has just been basically marinating in this patchouli oil. So, yeah, it's pretty strong. It's pretty, he's definitely got infused. So what I did was it had this little, the reason why this doorway container was perfect because it had, oh, the patchouli oil, it looks like it's almost like solidified, if you would. Um, it had this little trough around the edge, which was just perfect where I could have the oil sitting in that. And I found this little throwaway piece of metal, stainless steel, and then I just put him right on there so he's elevated and he could absorb the smell. And it looks like he even got oil on him because the oil must have made its way up. So there was oil touching it. Doesn't look like it's wiping the paint off. So that's good. Um, but it is, he does have some oil on him. He didn't fall in. I know that. He's been literally sitting on a shelf for six months. Before Christmas, this guy got put in this container and he's been just hanging out and sitting this whole time so we'll see how the residue is on this guy we'll see what he feels like if he feels weird after we kind of wipe off any of the the excess oil that might have somehow got up on him i don't know if it was done through just kind of maybe being attracted to the vinyl the, plat, the oil on oil action but he doesn't feel slimy or anything like that. The paint doesn't feel tacky, like it's like penetrated the paint and it's almost wanting to remove the paint. It doesn't feel that way. I don't feel that here either on any of this. It hasn't changed the consistency of the paint at all. And he really smells like the, the scented one. And he doesn't look the same because the scented one, he's got different gear on and he's different color. But... Um, it definitely, it. I mean, the scent's definitely there. That's for sure. And the, he doesn't have any oil on him. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't assume it'll last forever, but neither will the regular one. So I keep mine in a tube. So maybe I'll put him in a tube and see if he lasts. Um, it would have been neat, actually, if I did two of these, now I'm thinking about it, and put one in the tube and one out of the tube, see how long it holds. But... Um, I think we'll put him in a tube and see how long he lasts. I think that'd be cool. By a tube, I mean these little NECA capsules. They're called the vaults. They're for four-inch figures, which I use for my soda figures, like the flocked ones and stuff. Um, and the scented one, obviously. The only scented one I have, the Stinkor. So uh, he goes in a, in a tube, if you would, or a, scent, a, scented, uh, a scented capsule so that it encapsulates everything. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's truly, it's there. That's for sure. Six months seemed to be the ticket. If I did it any shorter, maybe it wouldn't have penetrated as much. I mean, you could even see, I was looking right here on his waist. You could even see beads of the oil along, along his waist right there between the vest and his loincloth. I don't know if you can kind of see in there, but uh, I also noticed that there's some back here in this crack down here between his legs. So the oil didn't matriculate up onto him. So I'm sure there was some penetrating factor, which in some regard, it's going to be very similar to the way that they infused him originally by just probably mixing the oil in with the molten vinyl and then just doing the normal process. 
Um, but by it penetrating the actual vinyl, I'm assuming it's going to pretty much do the same thing because it's going to be in there. So, like I said, I'm going to put them in a tube. Maybe I'll do a little update video in another six months to see how he's doing. Um, but for right now, I think it's pretty good to say that he's he's infused for sure. So if you didn't get yourself a Chase Stinkor and you want one for yourself, get yourself a $6 bottle of patchouli oil off Amazon and uh, throw away a container and elevate him like I did and put him on the shelf for six months. Don't let him fall into the oil, of course. Uh, I don't know what the direct contact with the oil, if it would remove the paint. So I would avoid getting the oil directly, directly on it, even though there was like that little beading. And obviously there was oil on him, which I wiped off onto the towel. Um, I don't know if I would directly just let him be sitting in it because I'm sure it would probably remove the paint. So anyway, try it yourself. Let me know how you did and maybe make you infuse something else. Maybe you infused and made another scented soda. Hmm, who knows? You know what I mean? That'd be cool to do like the lemon head guy, the common, the non-diamond one and maybe sent him like lemon that'd be kind of neat right so hmm some custom shows down the road who knows on whatnot hmm that smells pretty dang good all right let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this little experiment you're gonna try it for yourself have you tried it for yourself will you take this and apply this concept of how i infused this guy to something else, another soda. And if so, which soda are you going to do? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more. Because I do reviews every single day. Spoken for that. And have a great rest of your day.